Ananda Prabhu. We also were fortunate enough to have Darshan of the Yoga Pit, the place of the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We also saw Srivas Angan, the place of residence of Srivas Thakur, of Sri Advaita Acharya, Sri Gadadha Pandit. We went to Chandrasekhar Bhavan, also the Samadhi place of Sri Bhakti Sidan Saswati Thakur. Also, we went to the Samadhi pit of Sri Gaurakishwadas Babaji Maharaj, the place of the Samadhi of Sri Chan Kazi, and on our return we had Prashad. How fortunate we were to have darshan of all these places. Especially Antadweep, which is the combination of Gokul and Mathura. That is the appearance place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Krishna accepted the bhav, the emotions and the complexion of Srimadhi Radhika and, in, and taught us the process of Raganuga Bhakti by the process of the chanting of the name of Sri Krishna. There he performed many, many wonderful pastimes in Antadweep, especially his Balya Lila, his childhood pastimes. One time there were two thieves who, when they saw the baby Nimai ornamented with many types of gold, they decided to kidnap him. Therefore they placed the child on their shoulders and they ran for a long time and running, 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 bewildered by the Lord's Maya, they found themselves back in the place of Jagannath Mishra. Then Sachi Madra and the devotees were in anxiety. They asked, oh, where were you? How you came here? And the child simply smiled. Their Mahaprabhu performed the pastime of going to school. Especially him and his friends would take bath in the Ganga. They are the smarter Brahmanas. They would perform their meditation on the bank of the Ganga. And Baby Nimai would take the Ganga in his water and <clears throat> he would spit on the, on the Brahmanas. Those Brahmanas would go and complain to Sri Jagannath Mishra. But what is this? This is an act of great mercy on the Lord because the Ganga is the foot bathing water of the, Lord, of the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but he would spit his Adharam Ritz, the nectar of his mouth remnants, on them and deliver them in that way. The young girls would worship there with desire to get the grace of Lord Shiva to have a good husband. But Nimai would demand that worship you should give to me. If you worship me, you will get a very good husband. If you do not worship me, then I will curse you. You will have an old husband with many, many co-wives. Therefore, being fearful of the Nimai, those late young girls would give their sandesh and bananas to him. There also, Nimai performed the pastime of leaving from here. He went to Gaya to offer Pinda for the soul of his departed father, Jagannath Mishra. And there he met with his Gurudev, Sri Ishwar Puri. All this is described in Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad. And the next days we will hear all the writings of Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur. Then Nimai Pandit performed the pastime of accepting Harinam and Diksha from the Mahapurush Ishwar Puripad. And when he returned, he was transformed to Bhakta Nimai, Nimai the devotee. Absorbed in ecstasy, he heard a voice, Don't go to Vrindavan now, you should return. Therefore he came back to Navadweep and began the Sankirtan movement. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Yadavaya Namaha. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ramo, Hari Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hari Hari. With Srivas Thakur, Sanjay, Mukunda, Vasugo, Sri Nityananda, and later on the other devotees like Jagai Madai, Shikarada Pandit, they engaged in Sankirtan Vilas there in Antadweep. Afterwards, Nimai took sannyas and very cruelly he left his newly married, married bride, Vishnu Priya, and his old widowed mother and took sannyas. After taking sannyas, he went to Shantipur and millions of devotees went there for his darshan. At the time of Nimai, this Nadia was a very big city and every day the Lord would take his devotees on Sankirtan. Therefore, he resided here for 24 years. 18 years he spent in Jagannath Puri and 6 years he spent traveling to all the holy places. Some people have the opinion that it is in Gambia, Jagannath Puri, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tasted his highest ras. 
but this is not, and they give the argument, oh, Godavari is also a very high place. There Vishaka Devi, in the form of Sri Ramananda Roy, had darshan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Rasaraj and Mahabhav. Therefore they think Godavari is high, Puri, they think that Godavari is the higher, and Puri is even more higher. Pastime of tasting Ras and Mayapur of Napudvik is the lowest. But Guru Mahaj said, according to Rasagat Vichar, conception according to the standard of Ras being tasted, actually the opposite is true. This Mayapur is the highest swelling of Prem Ras. Why? Because this Navadvip is known as Gupta Brindavan and Jagannath Puri is rather compared to Dwarka or Kurukshetra and Godavari is compared to Kurukshetra. Therefore here in this Navadvip, all the Govardhan, Radhakund, Madhuvan, Velvan, Kumudvan, all the 12 main forests, the 12 sub-branch forests, all are here within Navadvip. Therefore it is known as Gupta Vrindavan. But Puri and, uh, and Godavari uh, have never been called Gupta Vrindavan. Therefore here, the opulence of the Lord is covered by so much sweetness. Even though sometimes we see the Aishwarya or the opulence of Nimai, in, an example of that is his defeating of Dikvijay Pandit. So here, there is such a swelling of sweetness in the Lord's pastimes. In the Gambir and Jagannath Puri, Mahaprabhu tasted so much, Aishwarya Lila was manifested there. Sometimes he would manifest a very long form. Sometimes he would become compressed to a ball. These are all opulence pastimes. But here in Vrindavan, sometimes he would cross the locked gates of Gambira and enter into the ocean. But rather here in Mayapur, he completely tasted the ecstasy of Ras Lila through Sankirtan. And in Gadavari, this is like the meeting of Radha with Krishna at Kuruchetra. Deva Asri Vishwanath Chakravati Tako has described there are three ecstasies of Shivani Radhika. Vrishabhanu Nandini, that is Radhik, the daughter of Vrishabhanu Maharaj, always meeting with Krishna. There is another Radha called Virahini Radha, that is like Radha, that Uddhav saw in Radharani in separation from Krishna at Nandagam. And there is Samyogini Radha, that is that Radharani who met with Krishna at Kuruchetra. Therefore, Sri Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur has described all this clearly, that the highest mood of Radha is Sri Vishwabhanu Nandini Radha, and that mood Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tasted here in Mayapur. In Jagannath Puri, Mahaprabhu tasted the ecstasy of Radharani in separation from Krishna that Uddhav saw, and in Godavari there, he tasted the mood of Samyogini Radha, Radha meeting again with Krishna at Kuruchetra. Therefore, we, describe, we measure something according to its sweetness, not according to the opulence. Therefore, here in Mayapur, he tasted the highest form of sweetness. Therefore, Mahaprabhu tasted the highest ecstasies of Radharani here in Mayapur. Therefore, but really, do we have darshan of Mayapur, the Chinmoy Dam? We went, we saw some big temples, we saw things like that. But we could not see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performing Sankirtan with Sri Thakur, with Sri Gadara Pandit, with Vasudev, with Vasu Ghosh, <coughs> with Murari Gupta, with Sri Advaita. We did not see Mahaprabhu's Sankirtan pastimes. Therefore, really, we are in the net or the covering of Maya that covers the Dham. We are not really residing completely in the Dham. Therefore, the Siddha Mahapurushas, the perfected devotees, they see these pastimes when they visit these holy places. Therefore, we should make some serious endeavor to, uh, to see the pastimes of Goranga Mahaprabhu. Yadyapi se lila, kori gori rai, konakon, bhagawan, deke kori pai. The pastimes of Gorahari are always manifested here, but only a fortunate person can see. Therefore, without entering through the pastimes and the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then how one can enter into the mood of the bridge Vasis? In Vrindavan, there are other sampradayas, like Nimbaka Sampradaya. They also endeavor to taste the mood of the gopis. But really, without the conception of Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Goswami, how is it possible for them to taste it? They cannot taste. Without going through 
books like Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and Ujvala Nilamani want to speak up. You cannot just read it, you have to follow what's in the books. Then you can understand what is the ra Bhakti Ras. There were other Sampradayas, secretly, they read these books, but reading is not enough, you have to completely follow them also. Therefore, the highest moods of the, of the Brijabhasis is really tasted only by this Gaudiya Sampradaya. So that is the goal of our Purikram, to try to make some serious endeavor to enter into these moods. Go Premanandi. Samrani. Say, so you speak something. Oh, she can come on this stage. She should come here. Here, here. By this way. About Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu. Are you talking about? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Gyanam Jana Salakaya Chaksurandali Tamyena Tasmai Sri Guru Venama First I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Gurudev Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Astotara Satasri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Gurudev Om Vishnu Pad Astotara Satasri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak something about the glory of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahiyanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the combined form of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Sometimes people ask, if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the mood of Radha, then we hear that Gadadhar Prabhu is in the mood of Radha. So how do we reconcile this? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is appearing in five features. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as Advaita Acharya, as Sri Nityananda Prabhu, as Sri Gadadhar Prabhu and Sri Shivas. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not Radha as some people think, but as Sri Raghunath Das Goswami prayed to his mind, Sachi Sunam Nandi Surapati Sutat Vei Guru Varam. O mind, always meditate on Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as none other than Sri Krishna himself covered by the mood and complexion of Srimati Radhika. Sri Gadadhar Prabhu is Srimati Radhika herself. Krishna begged from Srimati Radhika that I want to borrow your moods so that I can understand three things that are missing in me. Krishna laments as explained by Sri uh, Krishnadas Kavaraj Goswami in Chaitanya Charitamrita. 
I am Purnananda Moy. I'm the embodiment of full happiness. By one atomic drop of my happiness, the entire universe can be drowned. However, I myself am bewildered by the love of Srimati Radhika. Her love is my praying guru and it causes me to dance many novel dances, just like the guru of the leaf is the wind. The wind blows and the leaf blows in the wind, not under its own control. So similarly, Krishna is saying that the prem of Srimati Radhika is my guru and causes me to dance many novel dances, dances that are not under Krishna's control. He forgets who I am, where I am, in that way. So, the nature of Srimati Radhika's love, the Mahimor, the glory of Radha's love, drives him mad. Why? Because his own qualities are appreciated by her in such a way that even he cannot understand himself. Krishna is Admaram and Aptakam. All of his desires are fulfilled and he fully takes pleasure in his own self. Yet, he cannot appreciate his own self, his own qualities, his own beauty, the sweetness of his flute playing, as Srimati Radhika can. And the happiness that she experiences is ten million times greater than his. So, Krishna, in order to understand her love, begs her that may I please borrow May I please adopt some of your moods. This prayer we pray to Sri Guru in all of our songs, to Gurudev. Let me be as you are, without any desires or anxieties. Eka ki amar nahi pai bol hari nama sankirtan. I'm following you, simply calling out Krishna Krishna. Please make me yours and let me be like you. So Sri Krishna prayed like this to Srimati Radhika and she replied, Yes, I'll give you my moods, but I will have to help you along. Just like we want to adopt the moods of Sri Guru, but we can never take those moods. Just like somebody is acting out Gurudev, they're imitating him, and acting out his voice, acting out his moods. But he's watching. If somebody's doing a drama, and he's watching. So similarly, Krishna is trying to adopt, by Radharani's mercy, her moods. And she's watching and helping. She told Sri Krishna, yes, I'll give you those moods, you can borrow them but I will have to help you. I will personally come as Gadadhar Pandit and my most intimate associates, Sri Lalita, she will come as Swarup Damodar and Vishaka, she will come as Rai Ramananda and we will help you out. We find that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to um, Tota Gopinath, we see the garden there, and in that garden, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would sit and hear Srimad Bhagavatam from Sri Gadara Pandit. Why? Because who is the better, best explainer of Srimad Bhagavatam, the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, from the point of view of Srimati Radhika, so that Krishna can understand? Who could explain the moods of Radhika better than Vishaka as Sri Rai Ramananda so that Krishna could taste Srimati Radhika's moods? So Krishna is trying to adopt her moods, but she's watching and she's helping. As Srila Gurudev just mentioned, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came back from Gaya as the new disciple of Sri Isharapuri, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
in great ecstasy. Now he's Bhavak Nimai. He's no longer Naughty Nimai or the proud teacher, Adyapak Nimai, but now he's full of transcendental emotions. So when he came back at Shriva Sangam, he was singing, Paraha Vitam Natavapu, Karnio Karnikalam, Bibratavasam Kanaka Kapisam, Vaijayanti Chamalam. Dantrana Kainu Radana Sudaya Apura Yana Gopu Vrindai Vrindaranya Svapararaminam Pravishati Gita Kirtihi So he was fainting, he was weeping, tears flooding from his eyes and Sri Kadara Pandit, that is Srimati Radhika herself in the form of Gadara Pandit was watching in behind the curtains and in the form of twisting the ears of Krishna to teach him how to play her role, Chikadara Pandit began performing the same song, fainting more, weeping more, rolling more, to teach Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he is Krishna himself adopting or trying to adopt the mood of Srimati Radhika. And in Navadweep, he's full, full Radhika. Just as Brishabhanu, Nandani Radhika is the complete form of Radhika, and Biyogini Radhika is her part, and Sanyogini is her part, and they're all present within her. Just as Srimati Radhika never takes one step out of Vrindavan, but her manifestations go to Kurukshetra, but those manifestations are with her. Kurukshetra is within Vrindavan, Jagannath Puri is within Vrindavan. Similarly, I'm sorry, Dwarka is within Vrindavan. Similarly, just as Gurudev mentioned on the previous night, all pastime places, all holy tirthas of all universes are within Navadri. So Godavari, the Tatpar of Godavari is also within Navadri. Jagannath Puri is within Navadri. Although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears to go there and take sannyas and to go to Rai Ramananda, he actually is always in Vrindavan and therefore all the moods of all the other places including the opulence of Jagannath Puri and the opulence of Godavari, they're all within Navadri and everything is within Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the source of all universes and all avatars. Go bring an Andi Good presentation. Rasananda Paramachari, 15 minutes. Only 50. Ome Gyana Timiram Dasa Gyana Injana Salagaya Chaksur Namilita Mujena Tasmai Sri Guravi Nama Guravi Gaura Chandraya Radhika Yastadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Nama Ajanulambita Bhujauka Naka Padato Sankirita Naika Pitarao Kamalaya Taksho Vishwambharao Dijabharao Yugadharma Palo Bandi Jagat Priyakarao Karunavataro Balo Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 
राम राम हरे हरे मैं सर्वप्रथम मेरे गुरुपाद पद्म नित लीला प्रविष्णु विष्णु पाद अष्टो दर्शत श्री श्री श्रीमद भक्ति श्री रूप सिद्धांत गोस्वामी महाराज जी को चरण कमल में अनंत कटि साष्टांग दंडवत प्रतिपाद करता हूँ तत्पश्चात मेरे शिक्षा गुरुदेव परिव्रज का आचार्य जितद्वी स्वामी श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज जी को श्री चरण में श्रद्धा पुष्पांजलि अर्पण करता हूँ उपस्थित त्रिदंडी पाद गण वैष्णव वैष्णव सभी के चरण में मेरा जथा योग्य प्रणाम स्वीकार हो आज हमारी परम सौभाग्य का दिन है श्रीला भक्ति मनो ठाकुर ने जो बताया कौर अमार जे सब स्थान करल भ्रमण रंगे से सब स्थान है प्रणय भगत संग श्री भक्ति मनो ठाकुर कहते हैं हमको तो परिक्रमा करनी ही चाहिए लेकिन परिक्रमा करने का विधि क्या है कहते परिक्रमा करने का विधि है प्रणय भगत संग मेन वस्तु है प्रणय भगत है अगर कोई प्रेमी की भक्त हो अगर उनको अनुगत्य में हम लोग परिक्रमा करते हैं तो परिक्रमा की पूरी फल हमें मिलेगा अगर हमें कोई प्रणय प्रेमी के अगर भक्त नहीं मिले फिर तो परिक्रमा करके पूर्ण फल की प्राप्ति नहीं होगी इसलिए हम लोगों का परम सौभाग्य श्रीमान चैतन्य महाप्रभु को धारा में महाप्रभु जी अनर्पित चरित चिरात प्रेम को देने के लिए जगत में आए थे उसी धारा में ही और विशेष करके उसी जिस चीज को महाप्रभु देने के लिए आए थे उसको प्रति जिनका विशेष रुचि है ये भी होनी चाहिए नहीं तो फिर परिक्रमा करने पर भी हमें परिक्रमा का पूरी नहीं फल मिलेगा इसलिए हमारे महाराज जी की उसी प्रेम में उसी भक्ति में उसी राधा रानी की भक्ति में श्री महाराज जी की विशेष रुचि है इसलिए परिक्रमा हम नहीं कर रहे हैं परिक्रमा श्री गुरु जी कर रहे हैं क्योंकि जैसे हम कथा सुनेंगे हमारा बुद्धि भी उसी तरह उधर जाता है इसलिए हम लोगों का परम सौभाग्य श्री महाराज जी के अनुगत्य में हम लोग श्री धाम महा गौर मंडल परिक्रमा कर रहे हैं आप लोग विभिन्न वक्ताओं को मुखार बिंद से श्री नाम श्री धाम नवद्वीप की कथा को विभिन्न दृष्टिकोण से महिमा को श्रवण किया है मैं भी थोड़ी बहुत महाराज जी के मुखार बिंद से जो सुना हूँ थोड़ी बहुत भाव को प्रकाश करने के लिए अभिव्यक्त करूंगा कहते बहुत धाम है लेकिन ये नवद्वीप धाम परिक्रमा करने का विशेष फल किया है यद्यपि बहुत धाम है लेकिन इस विषय को श्री नवद्वीप धाम परिक्रमा ग्रंथों में वहां पर श्री शंकर पार्वती का संवाद है एक समय पार्वती शंकर जी से प्रश्न करती है कहते प्रभु आपके मुखार बिंद से हमने बहुत कथा सुनी है बहुत धाम के बारे में भी हमने सुना है लेकिन हमने देखा आप कभी कभी गौर गौर नाम बोलते हो कभी श्री चैतन्य चैतन्य नाम बोलते हो कभी श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य भी बोलते हो मैंने बहुत सारे नाम हमने सुनी है लेकिन अभी तक हमने कभी श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य गौर ये सब नाम हमने नहीं सुना है कहते वो क्या चीज है गौर है कौन श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम क्यों उनको पड़ा है और ये नवद्वीप धाम की क्या महिमा है इसलिए आप कृपा करके बताओ तब इसकी महिमा को बताने के लिए शंकर जी श्री अनंत देव और भगवान विष्णु की संवाद को उन्होंने बताए कहते एक समय श्री अनंत देव वे भगवान विष्णु के पास में गए चाह करके भगवान विष्णु से बोले कहते हे प्रभु मैंने ये विश्व ब्रह्मांड को अपना सिर पर धारण करके रखा हूँ और सारे विश्व ब्रह्मांड को हम भी जानता हूँ लेकिन हमने सुना एक दिव्य भगवान का धाम है जो श्री गोलोक वृंदावन है जहाँ पर श्री प्रिया प्रियतम राधा कृष्ण जहाँ पर नित्य निरंतर लीला करते हैं 
वो श्री वृंदावन धाम कहाँ है कहाँ पर श्री राधा कृष्ण नित्य विहार करते हैं इसलिए आप कृपा करके वो बात को बताने के लिए कोशिश करें और वो धाम को मैं कैसे प्राप्त कर सकता हूँ जब यह प्रश्न सुन करके भगवान विष्णु ने कहा कट अनंत दे तुम बड़े भाग्यवान हो जो तुम श्री राधा कृष्ण का दिव्य गोलोक वृंदावन के बारे में तुम सुनना चाहते हो साधारण बात नहीं तुम जो प्रश्न कर रहे हो दूसरे दूसरे धाम को कोई प्राप्त कर सकता है लेकिन गोलोक वृंदावन धाम को राधा कृष्ण के सेवा को प्राप्त नहीं कर सकते जैसे एक व्यक्ति कुत्ते का पूछ पकड़ करके अगर कोई समुद्र को पार होना चाहता है जैसे असंभव है उसी तरह भगवान राधा कृष्ण का भक्ति पाना वो बहुत बहुत ही कठिन है करण करोड़ जाग जज्ञ असुमेध को द्वारा भी जिस वस्तु को प्राप्त नहीं किया जा सकता है कहते हे आनंद देव साधारण व्यक्ति का बात छोड़ दो मैं स्वयं विष्णु जो कर्ण दशाए विष्णु गर्भो दशाए विष्णु खिरा दिशाए विष्णु कहते इन लोगों के लिए भी वो धाम प्राप्त नहीं इतने दुर्लभ धाम है जिसके विषय में तुम प्रश्न करते हो इसलिए हाँ उसको पाने का एक उपाय है सबसे सरल उपाय है कहते सबसे सरल उपाय क्या है कहते सबसे सरल उपाय अगर कोई ब्रज गोपियों की अगर कोई आनुगत्य कर सकता है कहते ये सबसे सरल उपाय ब्रज गोपियों को आनुगत्य को द्वारा ही वो दिव्य गोलोक वृंदावन राधा कृष्ण प्रिया प्रियतम को प्राप्त हो सकता है लेकिन वो वस्तु भी साधारण बात नहीं गोपियों की आनुगत्य करना क्योंकि जिस ब्रज गोपियों की केवल एक चरण धूली उद्धव जैसे आसाम हो चरण रेणु जुसा महश्याम बंद नंद ब्रजस्णाम बोल करके उद्धव जी की एक चरण धूल को प्रार्थना करते हैं जहाँ सुखदेव गोस्वामी बोलते हैं न बिरीच न भव न स्त्रीय अपनी अंग संश्रय इसलिए विश्वनाथ चक्र ठाकुर यहाँ पर कहते हैं कहते जिस ब्रजवासियों का सौभाग्य यहाँ पर न न न ये तीन बार यहाँ पर प्रयोग किया विश्वनाथ चक्र ठाकुर कहते हैं न भव कद जिस प्रेम को कद स्वयं शंकर जी को भी प्राप्त नहीं कद जिस प्रेम को न बिरिंची कद जहाँ पर स्वयं ब्रह्मा जी को भी प्राप्त नहीं कद कद और किसी कद न कद सख्या भगवान का बख्य विलासिनी श्री लक्ष्मी को भी जो सौभाग्य प्राप्त नहीं हुआ तो विश्वनाथ चक्र ठाकुर कहते हैं कद न भव कद जिस प्रेम श्री शंकर जी को प्राप्त नहीं कद शंकर जी कौन है कद जो हरिहर एकात्मा कद न बिरिची कद जिस प्रेम ब्रह्मा जी को प्राप्त नहीं कद ब्रह्मा जी कौन है कद जिनका बेटा है कद न श्री कद जो प्रेम श्री लक्ष्मी को भी प्राप्त नहीं कद लक्ष्मी कौन है कद लक्ष्मी सख्यात भगवान का बख्य विलास इतने दुर्लभ ये प्रेम है इसलिए हे अनंत देव ये प्रेम प्राप्त करना कोई साधारण बात नहीं कहते मिल क्या मिल ही नहीं सकती है कहते हाँ मिलने का और एक बहुत सरल उपाय है कहते तो क्या सरल उपाय है कहते अगर कोई व्यक्ति कोई ऐसे रसिक भक्तों का अनुगत्य में श्रीधाम नवद्वीप पे आए और श्रीधाम नवद्वीप में वैष्णव का अनुगत्य में नवद्वीप धाम की परिक्रमा करे और सचिनंदन गौर हरि चैतन्य महाप्रभु का चरण को अगर कोई आश्रय ग्रहण करते हुए अगर कोई भगवान का भजन करेगा तो कहते जो दुर्लभ प्रेम सबसे आसानी से ही मिल जाएगा इसलिए इसलिए नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर कहते हैं गौर प्रेम रसार नवे से तरंगे जे बा डूबे से राधा माधव अंतरंग से राधा माधव अंतरंग नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर कहते हैं गौर प्रेम रसार नवमी श्रीमान चैतन्य महाप्रभु का अगर कोई भजन करे कहते आसानी से ही वो प्रेम प्राप्ति हो जाएगा और ये कलिजुग कैसा है कहते कलिजुग धन्य कलिजुग है इसलिए कलिजुग भी कोई साधारण युग नहीं एक छोटी सी कहानी सुना देता हूँ कहते एक समय श्री कलिजुग अभी राजत्व कर रहा है कहते ये चार भाई है सत्य त्रेतया द्वापर और कलि अभी तीन भाइयों का राजत्व चला गया सत्य और द्वापर अभी कलिजुग राजत्व कर रहा था एक समय ये तीन भाई 
अपना कलयुग को देखने के लिए आए कहते हम भी अपना अपना राज्य तक की है अभी हमारा छोटे भैया कली कैसे राज्य तक कर रहा है जब ये छोटे भाई के साथ में मिलने के लिए आए वहां पर दरबार था उन्होंने पूछा हमारा कली राजा है कहते हाँ कहते जा करके बोलो उनका तीन भाई उनसे मिलने के लिए आए जब उन्होंने बोले आपका तीन भाई सत्तर त्रेता द्वार पर आपसे मिलने के लिए आए कलीजुग ने कहा मैं उनका साथ में मिलना नहीं चाहता हूँ बोल दो वापस चले जाए दरुआ ने आकर के बोला कहते आपसे मिलना नहीं चाहते फिर ये तीन भाइयों ने बताया उनको ये बताइए किसी तरह से आप छोटे भाइयों किसी तरह से केवल आंख में आंख मिलाकर चले जाएंगे इतना ही बोलो फिर जाकर कलीजुग को बोले कहते केवल आपसे केवल एक बार मिल करके जाना चाहते हैं कहते उनका मुंह तक भी मैं देखना नहीं चाहता हूँ तो ऐसे क्या बात है फिर आ करके बोले लेकिन बहुत जब अनुनय अभिनय किया तब कलीजू बड़ी कठिनी से आए आ करके उन्होंने पहले तो सत्य जीव को बड़े डांट लगाया बोले ये बताओ तुमने क्या किया है सत्य जीव आ करके अपना अपना राजुत्व किया तुमने कुछ तो जीव का कल्याण किया ही नहीं केवल लोगों को कष्ट ही कष्ट दिया क्योंकि कृत्य जाते धाय थे विष्णु सत्य युग में जो धर्म था वो ध्यान है आप लोगों को पता है साठ साठ हजार साल साल तक सिर नीचा करके प्यार ऊंचा करके चारी तरफ में आग लगा करके कितने कठोर साधन करते थे लेकिन इतने साधन करके तुमने लोगों को क्या दिया है तुमने बहुत ज्यादा से ज्यादा उनको मुक्ति प्रदान कर दिया सालों के साष्टी सामिप ज्यादा से ज्यादा कहीं वैकुंभ लोग दे दिया उससे तो तुमने कुछ ज्यादा नहीं दिया उनने तृतया युग में बड़े डांट लगाया बोले तुम भी जीवों के बोले कष्ट ही कष्ट दिया तुमने तो कुछ किया ही नहीं बोले क्यों कहते त्रेता जीव का जो युग धर्म था यज्ञ है यज्ञ के लिए लकड़ी चाहिए हवन सामग्री चाहिए और जो लोग हवन करते हैं उनको पता है सुहा सुहा करते रहो धुआं में मुंह भर जाएगा आग को पास में बैठना पड़ेगा रो रो जोरे सुहा सुहा करो कहते करते करते तुम भी जीव का क्या किया कल्याण ज्यादा से ज्यादा वही मुक्ति सालों के साष्टी सामने पर ज्यादा से ज्यादा कहीं अयोध्या भी दे दिया और तो ज्यादा तुमने कुछ दिया नहीं बोले द्वापर युग में भी उन्होंने डांट लगाया बोले तुमने क्या की है अर्चन था अर्चन के लिए भी धूप दीप नैवेद्य पुष्प और मधुकर्म पंचामृत तो ये कौन चाहिए चाहिए पूजा के लिए तुम भी लोगों को कष्ट दिया कष्ट दे करके जीव को ज्यादा से ज्यादा कहीं धाम नहीं पहुंचाया लेकिन देखो मैंने क्या किया है ये कलयुग आकर उन्होंने क्या किया कहते धन्य कल युग है तो जिस युग में मैं आ करके सखा जिस युग में स्वयं चैतन्य महाप्रभु आए और कल युग में उन्होंने क्या धर्म है कहते कल युग में कोई ज्यादा परिश्रम करने का जरूरत नहीं है इसलिए श्री नरतम श्री प्रेमानंद ठाकुर कहते हैं एमन गौरांग बिने नहीं यार है ना अवतार हवे भी हुए छे है ना प्रेम प्रचार कहते दुरामति अति पति तपासंगी प्राणे ना मारी लकारे हरि नाम दिया हृदय सोतिला जाची गिया घरे घरे और उन्होंने क्या किया कहते ब्रह्मा भिरिंचिर बांचित जे प्रेम जगत फैली लढ़ाली कांगा ले पाई या खाई ल नाचिया बाजा या करताली इसलिए मैंने कलयुग में आ करके कोई लोगों का ज्यादा परिश्रम नहीं करने के लिए दिया केवल इतना ही है इसलिए प्रेमान दशा कहते हैं बाजा या करताली कर मतलब हाथ अगर मजला मृदंग नहीं तो कोई बात नहीं भगवान का हाथ दिया केवल करताल बजा करके भगवान का थोड़ी नाम कीर्तन करो और वो नाम कीर्तन को द्वारा हमने क्या दिया चैतन्य महाप्रभु कहते हैं नाम नाम करी बहुदा निज सर्व शक्ति स्तत्रार्पिता नियमित स्मरण न काल एतादृशी तब कृपा भगवान नाम अभी दुर्दैव मिया जानी नानुराग इसलिए उनने कोई काल पात नहीं रखा और कोई पात्र अपात्र उन्होंने नहीं रखा इसलिए भक्त मन ठाकुर कहते हैं के जा भी के जा भी रे भाई भव सिंधु पार धन्य कली जुगर चैतन्य अवतार कि जिस चैतन्य अवतार में श्री मन चैतन्य माप आ करके कहते सब जीव पार है प्रेम रहा से कहते प्रेम नहीं केवल प्रेम की हवा अगर किसको शरीर में लग गया देखो वो हवा कहाँ से कहाँ तक महाप्रभु धारा में आया आते हुए धीरे धीरे गुरु परंपरा में आते आते प्रभुपाद उसके बाद भक्ति प्रज्ञान कैसे गोस्वामी महाराज उसके बाद में भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज के पास में आए कहते वो प्रेम की हवा कहाँ तक पहुंचा देखो संपूर्ण विश्व में वो हवा पहुंची जिस हवा की थोड़ी सी झोंक लगा तो आप जैसे कितने मधुकर आप लोग कहा से कहा आकर के चलो महाराज जी को श्री चरण में आकर के उनका शरणागत हुए हैं और उन्होंने कलयुग में उन्होंने क्या दिया चैतन्य महाप्रभु आकर के कहते हेला धुलित है दया विषय दया 
ಪ್ರೇಮಿಲ್ಲ ದಾಮದಯ ಸಸ್ವತ್ಸತ್ರಿ ಬಿನೋದಯ ರಸದಯ ಉನ್ಮಾದಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದಯಾ ನಿಧಿ ತಮ ದಯಾ ಅಮೋದಯ ದಯ ಚಿರಾದ ದತ್ತಂ ನಿಜ ಗುಪ್ತ ಪೀತಂ ಬಡೇ ದಿನ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೂನೇ ಜಿಸ್ ಅನರ್ಪಿತ ಚರಿಚಿರ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೂನೇ ನೈ ದಿಯಾತ ನಿಜ ಗುಪ್ತ ಪೀತಂ ಗುಪ್ತ ಪೀತಂ ಕಾ ಮತಲಬ್ ದಿಯಾ ಹೈ ಜಿಸ್ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ಕೋ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಪನ ಹೃದಯ ಮೇ ಛುಪಾ ಕರ ರಖೇ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ದೇನಾ ನೈ ಚಾಹತೆ ಕ್ಯೂಕಿ ಜೋ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಜೋ ಕತಿ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ದೇನೆ ಕೇ ಲಿಯಾ ಮಂಜರಿ ಬಾಪ ಕೋ ಈ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ವಸ್ತು ನಹಿ ಜಿಸ್ ಚೀಜ ಕೋ ಗುಪ್ತ ಜಿಸ್ ಕೋ ಅಪನ ಹೃದಯ ಮೇ ಛುಪಾ ಕರ ರಖೇ ಕತಿ ಗುಪ್ತ ಬೀತ ಕೋ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ದೇನೆ ಪರ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಉನ್ ಕೋ ಜತ ಕಿಂಕರ ಸಿ ಬಹುಸ ಥಲುಕಾ ಕಾಣಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಪರಸ ಪುರುಷ ಸ ಸಿಖಂಡ ಮೌಲೆ ಜಸ್ಯಾ ಕದಾರ ಸ್ವನೀತಿ ಬ್ರಿಸವಾನು ಜಾಯ ತತ್ ಕೈಲಿ ಕುಂಜ ಭವನಾಂ ಘನಿಮಾರ್ಜನ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ಜಿಸ್ ಮಂಜರಿ ಭಾವ ಕೋ ಕೈ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿಸ್ಕೋ ಚರಣ ಮೇ ಕಭಿ ಝುಂಕೆ ಜಿನ್ಕೋ ಚರಣ ಮೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಝುಂಕೆ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮನ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪುರ ಜಿಸ್ ಗುಪ್ತ ಬಿತ ಕೋ ದಿಯಾ ಜಾ ಕರ ರಾಧಾರಣಿ ಜಬ ನಿಕುಂಜ ಭವನ ಮೇ ಕಭಿ ರಾಧಾರಣಿ ಮಾನವಿ ಹೋ ಕರ ಬೈಠಿ ಬಾಹರ ಮಂಜರಿ ಯಾ ಗೋಪಿಯಾ ಹೈ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಸುಂದರ ಜಾ ಕರ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಚರಣ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಕರ ಕೇ ತಾಕು ಬಾಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ತೆ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಚರಣ ಮೇ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಕರ್ತೆ ಸಖಾತ್ ಪರಾತ್ ಪರ ತತ್ವ ಹೋತೆ ಹೋ ಬಿ ಅಪನಾ ಭಕ್ತ ಕೋ ಚರಣ ಮೇ ಸಿರ್ ಝುಕಾ ದೇತೆ ಈ ಗುಪ್ತ ಬೀತ ಹೈ ಅರ್ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಸಖಿ ಜಿಸ್ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ನೈ ಕರ ಪಾಯ ಕತಿ ಓಹ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಕಲಿ ಯುಗ ಮೇ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಆ ಕರ ಓಹ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಉನ್ನೆ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಕರ್ತೆ ಹೈ ಅರ್ ಜಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಉನ್ನೆ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಕಿಯಾ ಕತಿ ಈ ಏಕ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಸ್ತು ಹೈ ಅನ್ಯನ್ಯ ಅವತಾರ ಕೋ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೋ ಉಪಾಸನಾ ಕರನೆ ಪರ ಕೇವಲ ಜಿ ಏಕ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠ ಮೇ ಉಸ್ಕೋ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಹೈ ದೋ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠ ಮೇ ನೈ ಕೇವಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಮನ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕಾ ಅನುಗತ್ಯ ಮೇ ಜೋ ಭಜನ ಕರತೆ ಹೈ ಕೇವಲ ಉನ್ಹಿ ಕಲಿ ಹೈ ದೋ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠ ಏಕ ಪ್ರಕೋಷ್ಠ ಮೇ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಿ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಮಂಜರಿ ರೂಪ ಮೇ ಜೈಸ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರೂಪ ಮಂಜರಿ ರೂಪ ಮೇ ಔರ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೋ ಲೀಲಾ ಮೇ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರೂಪ ಮೇ ಜೈಸ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಲಭಂಗ ಮಂಜರಿ ರೂಪ ಮೇ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೋ ಲೀಲಾ ಮೇ ಸನಾತನ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರೂಪ ಮೇ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ದಾಮದರ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಲೀಲಾ ಮೇ ಔರ ಲಲಿತಾ ಸಖಿ ಬನ ಕರ ಕೇ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಿ ಸೇವಾ ಜದ ಇತನೆ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಆ ಕರ ಕೇ ಈ ಜಗತ್ ಜೀವ ಕೋ ಉನ್ನೆ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಕಿಯಾ ಹೈ ಇಸಲಿಯೆ ಈ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕೋ ಉನ್ನೆ ಕಭಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಕಭಿ ಕಿಯಾ ಹೈ ನೈ ಇಸಲಿಯೆ ಹಮ ಲೋಗ ಪರಮ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಹೈ ಉಸಿ ಧಾರಾ ಮೇ ಉಸಿ ರಸ ಧಾರಾ ಮೇ ಹಮಾರ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಜೀ ಹೈ ಇಸಲಿಯೆ ಉನ್ನು ಕೋ ಅನುಗತ್ಯ ಮೇ ಹಮ ಲೋಗ ಹಾ ಐಸ ರಸಿ ಕಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಕಾ ಅನುಗತ್ಯ ಮೇ ಭಜನ ಕರ ಲೈ ಜರೂರ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಹೋಮೆ ಮಿಲೇ ಗಾಲಿ ಬಂಶಾಕಲ್ ಭಸ್ತ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಹೈ ಬಚ ಪಿತಾ ನಾಮ ಪಾವನಿ ಭೋ ವೈಷ್ಣೆ ಭೋ ತತ್ಸಿ ರಸಾನಂದ ನೇ ರಸ ಕಿ ವರ್ಷಾ ಕರ प्रेम प्रयोजन ब्रह्मचार 15 मिनट वल्ले ಅಸ್ಮದೇವ್ 
to hear the current of nectar flowing from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev. It is very difficult to say something in the presence of so many learned personalities. It's extremely rare in the whole universe that any living entity has the opportunity to hear such kata, which is so full of siddhanta, so full of perfect conclusions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, and so full of bhakti rasa. Still, I pray by the mercy of Gurudev that I can take some remnants. Vaishnavas have tasted so many flavors of Mahapu's Nam, Rup, Gun, Lila, Parika and Dham. But I pray that from the plates I may take a little of their remnant. Sri Krishna, he was thinking to himself that Shokale jagati kare more vidhi bhakti vidhi bhakti braja bhava paiti nahi shakti throughout the world many people they are practicing bhakti many acharyas came Madhva Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbaditya and they taught about bhakti but those who are following them they're worshipping me with Aishwarya Gyan, knowledge of my opulences. But Aishwarya Gyaneti Stab Jagatami Sweet Aishwarya Shitila Prema Nahi Mora Preet. This love, which is mixed with knowledge of my opulences, it is okay, but I am not fully satisfied. It cannot control my heart. I prefer the love of the residents of Vrindavan, Madhya Yashoda. Even though I am the maintainer of the whole universe, Madhya Yashoda thinks if I don't feed my Lala some breast milk, what will happen? He'll become skinny. My friends, they think, Hey Krishna, what kind of big man are you? We should fight. I will defeat you in wrestling. And more than that, my beloveds, Radhika, Lalita, Vishaka and others, they sometimes criticize me with harsh language. Priyadiman kare kare vatsan, vedas tuti hoiti hare se moraman. Brahma, Shankar, Narad, they offer prayers of the Vedas, Vedas tuti. Om sahasasi shapura saha. Sahasraksha, Sahasrapate. And when they offer prayers to me, I hear. But when Radhika, Lalita Vishaka, they say to me, Oh Krishna, you're dirt. You are Chita. You are Mityavad, you are liar. You are Parastri Chor. You are the thief of others' wives. At that time, I forget all the Vedic mantras. I don't listen to Brahma, Sankar, Narada and others. Because they're sweet words, they're just as it steals my heart. So I want to distribute in the world a bhakti like this. It was not given before. So, so Sri Krishna, he came in this world and he performed his leela. And after disappearing, again he appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to teach all the living entities how to enter into that sweet Krishna leela. Apani kare mu bhakta bhava angi kare Apani achari bhakti shikamu sabare Krishna thought, I will assume the mood of a devotee and I will teach bhakti to everyone by practicing it myself. So Krishna appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and began to do Harinam Sankirtan here. Yuga dharma pravataimu nama sankirtan Chari bhava bhakti diya na chamu bhuvan. I will appear in this world and I will cause everyone to dance, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And distribute four moods the mood of 
servants in Vrindavan, friends in Vrindavan, parents in Vrindavan, and especially of gopis in Vrindavan. Only Chaitan Mahapu could do it. He said, Yuga Dharava, Yuga Dharma, Pravatana, Hoi Angsa Hoi Te, Ami Bina Nahiyanye, Braja Premadite. Any other, other avatars, incarnations of Narayan, they can establish Yuga Dharma. But only Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Mahaprabhu Sri Chaitanya, Radha Krishna Nahiyanya. Radha Krishna combined, only he has the Adhikar, the qualification to distribute Braj Prem through the medium of Harinam Sankirtana. So, if there's a person for whom you have affection, for whom you have love and respect, then you may sit down and take some flowers and string them and make a mala, make a garland. And then, as an offering of love to that person, you present that garland to them. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took the flowers of the Maha Mantra, Hare, and he strung it on a, a sutra. Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, Hare. And he made a mala of Krishna Nam. Before Mahaprabhu's appearance, the Maha Mantra was being chanted. That Maha Mantra is in Kalishantara Upanishada. So since ancient times it was chanted, but the result was not the same. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took the flowers of the holy name and he chanted that name in the mood of Radharani and put inside the flowers of that name the Prem Sutra. So, Eri Dware Achandale Kirtana Sanchare Nama Prema Malaganti Paraya Sansare Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, having so much mercy for all the living entities of the world, took the garland of Hare Krishna Mahamantra with a Braja frame inside. He made this garland and he offered it to everyone. Hey, Achandale, from the top down to the lowest people, out of compassion. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Jiva Daya Kore. Swaparshada Suyadama Saha Avatari Out of compassion for all of us, he came to this world. If there is a very rich person, a wealthy person, he lives in his mansion, he's very happy. He does not think that there are others very far away and that they are suffering. But if someone has a very soft heart, they will come out from their place and go there to those who are suffering and give them some charity. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is relishing the Mahabhav in the Nitya Dham, Nitya Navadweep. But because his heart is so soft, he appeared here in this world and distributed in charity something to all the wretched persons who were fallen and suffering. But what thing? Achyanta Durlava Prema Karipari Shikaya Sharanagati Pan. He came here and gave the very highest thing to the lowest persons. Atyanta Durlava Prem, an extremely rare type of Prem. The Prem of Bridge Basses, and among four types of Prem of Bridge Basses, especially the mood of the maid servants of Shimati Radhika. So, this is the external reason for the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to distribute Braja Prem to others. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has his internal reasons for appearing. When Krishna performed his Leela in this world, upon seeing the Prem of Shimati Radhika, he was astonished. He could not understand how deep is his love. He wanted to see how deep it was. So during the Rasa Leela, Sri Krishna disappeared. And hiding in a kunj, he watched the reactions of Shimati Radhika. How she was weeping in separation. How she cried, Yatei sujata charanam buruham staneshu Bitaashanai priyadadi mahika keseshu Tena tuvimata sitadhyata tena kimswit 
Kurupadi B. Brahmati D. Babadaya Shamna. Oh Krishna, if I have no opportunity to serve you, what is the use of my life? So let the remainder of my life be added to yours. I should give up my life now. And the remainder of my life should be added to yours. So you can live a long time in Vrindavan and enjoy your vilas there. Krishna saw this, something of the depth of Radhika's love, but he could not understand it. He left Vrindavan and went to Mathura. And when Radhika was weeping in separation, Krishna himself came back to Vrindavan as that bumblebee. And Radhika spoke, Madhupakitavabandhu Mahasprasangim Sapatnya. Again, Krishna was watching the frame of Radhika thing. How deep is his love? I cannot find the bottom of it. So in order to understand the internal moods of a person, then you have to get their mercy. So we know that once Shimati Radhika was in Man, and she told Krishna, Jahi Madhava, Jahi Keshava, Mabada, Kaitava Leave my kunj, get out of here, I don't want to hear your cheating words. And Krishna prayed to Radhika. Priye Charu Shile Priye Charu Shile Smaragarala Kandanam Mama Sirasi Mandanam Dehi Pada Palavam Udharam Oh Radhika, I am burning from the poison of calm death. So please save me by decorating my head with the beautiful soft petals of your lotus feet. And Sri Krishna took the lotus feet of Radhika upon his head. Why was this? For example, if one wants to understand the internal moods of Srila Gurudev, then one will have to take the lotus feet of Gurudev on his head. That means do Shanarati and pray that those moods will come in the heart. So in the same way, Krishna said, Radhi, Radhikara Prema Guru Amishishnat Amasada Nana Nitya Nachaya Udbhat So outwardly, it looks that Krishna is bowing to Radhika to pacify her man. But inwardly, he's astonished at the extent of her prema. And taking her lotus feet upon his head, he's taking a blessing that he can realize that love. And therefore, he appeared from the womb of Satchimata here in this world as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And by the blessing of Radhika, he realized Radhabhav. Jai Sachinandan Gohari Nitai Gora Premanande. Hare Krishna. Kalamada. Jagannatha Swaji Maharaj Bhajan Kuti Ebang Samadhi Mandir Ebang Rudra Di Pedar Sane Jago Kal Kal Hamlo Rudra Di Kal Ekada Siti Thi Hai Aay Raat Ko Koi Chaol Ya Sabji Madra Kiya Ga Moodi Bhi Nahi Rakhna Hai Nahi Khana Hai Kal Ke Ekada Siti Thi Aapnara Raat Te Keo Onno Panta Bhat Kura Rakh Benna Ar Moodi O Kha Benna काल हमरा जवनान तस्वीर जी मारिये समाधि मंदी रुद्र दी प्रोग्राम या तला वृद्धा सीप दबदबा समय जावो जरा रिक्शा जावे रिक्शा भड़ा साठ टका दुजने जन्नव निचे वसलन बीस टका एक दुजन तीन जने डे बेसी का रिक्शा बस बनना आज काल के एकदम सामने दर्शन पायेंटे कले ही भालो आर भैने कले पुड़ी टका प कल एकादशी तिथि है कल हम लोग रुद्रदीप जगन्नाथ स्वामी माय समाधि स्थल भजन रूटी और प्रोग्राम या तला वृद्धसिप दर्शन में जाएंगे जो लोग पैदल चल नहीं सकते हैं वो रिक्शा में जा सकते हैं या जा सकती हैं रिक्शा का दोनों दो जन के लिए किराया साठ रुपया है जो नीचे बैठेंगे बीस रुपया तीन आदमी से अधिक रिक्शा में नहीं बैठना है और पैसा भी रिक्शा वाला को पहले नहीं देना है आने के बाद ही देना है Tomorrow we will visit Rudradi and some of the place of Jagannatha Sukhaji Maharaj and his Bhajan Kuti, Prabhupada and Vrithasi. So, if someone, and tomorrow is a Kadasi, and who could not walk, if they want a rickshaw for two person, 60 rupees. If three person, then who will sit down, then 20 rupees. Don't pay advance when you can return here, then you can pay complete 
payment. Tomorrow we start from here. Kota Samaya. Sare paanch baje hum niklenge. Tomorrow five thirty a.m. Sare paanch baje hum log kam niklenge. Kal kam da so kal sare paanch da soye bade ho. Aur kal ke sabha tomorrow is very short parikrama. So sabha is start before five. So Guru Dev request everyone, to all sannyasis and brahmacharis and all devotees to come here before four thirty. And Kirtan will start positively 4 p.m. कल हम लोगों का परिक्रम बहुत संक्षेप है, इसलिए गुरुजी साढ़े चार बजे सुबह शुरू करना चाहते हैं, चार बजे तक सब गाना है। एक विशाल परिक्रम आप परिचलना जन्ना, अनेक बैठार बहुत कत्त है, जरा खाना नाम रेजिस्टेंस करें नहीं, रेजिस्टेंस करिए आपना टिकट संग्रह करें नहीं, नाम रेजिस्ट्रेशन करें टिकट संग्रह करें निवेदन जो लोग अभी अपने परिक्रमा फीस नहीं जमा किया हो वो लोग कृपया बहुत लोग कहते हैं मैं गुरुजी को दे रहा हूँ या दे रही हूँ गुरुजी को आप देते हो उनका प्रणाम ही है लेकिन रेजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए आपको ये जरूरी है इसके सिवा आप लोग के सहायता के बिना that the Western devotee who has not registered their name yet, I am requesting them go to registration office on the front gate and pay your registration fee without the help of your all devotees is not possible at all. Tomorrow, for Western devotee initiation will be 9 a.m. Tomorrow, the initiation for Western devotee 9 a.m. Who has not who has not registered their name yet? They can register their name with Giridhari Prabhu. So, who will take initiation? They will go, they will go also for Ikrama. As soon as you come back and come to there. For Bharat, Bharatiya Bhakti Ho Ke Liye, Purnima Ka Din, Inisha Dikcha Ho Ke Liye,